Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alaa Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology, faculty of medicine, Mansoura University. Let's try to answer this asking gynecology. This part seven. You can see other parts in my YouTube channel. Okay. Let us start with the first slide here. Describe what is shown in this picture. Describe what is shown in this picture. As you see in this picture, this is hysterosalpingography. And the cervix is seen, uterine cavity, post fallopian tubes, and the spell of the dye in the pelvis. And hysterosalpingogram cannula in place. See? So this is the answer of the first question as you see in the next slide here. Again, this is the cervix, this is a trying cavity, this is the fallopian tubes, patents on both sides, with the spell or the dye in the pelvis. Okay, and this is history uh, gram cannula in place. Okay, let's go to the next. What is your comment on this history salvagegram? You recommend the benefit of this hysterosalpingography in such a case with infertility. There is tubal patency, as you see here, bilateral tubal patency. You should say bilateral tubal patency. This is one tube, and this is the other tube, with immediate spell from both of them. Also, there is no intracavitary lesion. There is no filling defect here, so there is no intracavitary lesion. So the answer will appear right now. Both the tubes are patent, no intracavitary lesion. What are the indications of history One of the indications is to test the four Pupil patency in women with infertility. Another indication to detect uterine malformation, for example, unicorn uterus or bicornic uterus, acetate uterus. Also, to diagnose submucous fibroid, which will appear as a filling defect inside the uterine cavity. Diagnosis of uterine synechy. Intratrine adhesion, what's called Asherman syndrome. Also, diagnosis of cervical incompetence with funneling of the cervix. Okay, so these are indications for hysterosalpingogram. Okay, next. In which phase of the menstrual cycle hysterosalpingogram is done? Is it in the proliferative or secretory? It is in the proliferative phase between day seven and day ten. Okay, so in the proliferative phase between day seven and day ten, so it is in the first half of the cycle. Why it is avoided in secretory phase? As there is a risk of pregnancy interference by chance. The woman has conceived in that cycle. Okay, understand this. So, who can swear that this lady didn't conceive in that cycle? So, if you did history cybingogram in secretory phase, you will interrupt the pregnancy. So, it is not allowed to do it during secretory phase. You are going to do it in the proliferative, early in the proliferative is between day 7 and day 10. Okay. What is the management if tubes are found normal? We know that we have a basic investigation for infertile couple. One of them is test for pupil patency by hysterosalpingogram. What other test? Semen analysis, searching for male factor, also test for ovulation or ovarian factor okay 
like day 21 serum progesterone, like uh, transvaginal ultrasound folliculometry, and so on. So we will complete the basic investig investigation for infantile couple. What are the other methods for assessment of pupil patency? Is there is any other method to test for pupil patency rather than hysterosalpingogram? The answer is yes. During laparoscopy, by using the blue dye test, also by sono hysterosalpingography, also by salpingoscopy and phalloposcopy. Okay. So what is sono hysterosalpingography? We inject saline inside the trial cavity via pediatric polyscast. Okay, then do ultrasound for the uterus in the tube. If the tubes are patent, the fluid will pass through the tubes to the pelvic cavity. Also, the procedure can detect uterine malformations, intrauterine adhesions, or Usherman syndrome, or intracavitary polyps, or submucous fibroid. Okay? Okay. What is the advantage of sonohysterosalpingography? It is a relatively non-invasive procedure and without the hazards of radiation. Okay? This is the advantage of sonohysterosalpingography. This is the end of my ask station today. This is my books published on Amazon. I write my site on Amazon and I comment. I write also my site on YouTube where you can find more Ask Stations and more lecture in OB Guide and the case scenario discussion. I write it on a comment, my site on YouTube. Okay? Thank you everybody wishing you all the best.